Hi friends, this is Sadiq. In today's demo video, I am going to show you the changes has been done in interview operators. Today demo, I am showing you what the changes has been done in filter operator in interview. In last video, I have shown uh, the changes has been done in match operator, and this today I am going to show you the changes has been done in filter and plug operator okay so let's go with the filter first i'll show you that i have defined one array uh, just for your uh, just for testing purpose only and this is a uh, 3.8 version mule you can see i you can get the value is filtered if the value should be in in the array should be greater than 2 so we got 3 4 5 right and the index based is like we are trying to get the data with the who from the index greater than 2 see that 0 1 2 now you will get only 4 and 5 right 0 1 2 right now it will start 3, three 4 that's why we are getting here 3 5 4 5 right now let's go to the uh, mule 4 version data view 2.0 as you see, I see that the percentage sign has been removed from the defining the output function or variable from the data view. So you are seeing that only where the value, the the variable equal sign and the variable value. Okay. You see that in filter previously you see that it we have to define the filter condition based on the space or tab. Okay, but now you can see it has been covered, it has been marked with the presses that to help to understand, to avoid the any kind of the development mistake done by developer. Okay, why it, uh, why it's so cool and very, very nice uh, changes has been, great changes has been done for the mule that it's sometime it's happened with the keeping the uh, multiple multiple tab or missing the tab or this kind of uh, mistakes we do in the in the in the, uh, in, the uh, in order to make the delivery fast or uh, make the development quick approach so this is helping um, lots to developer to avoid any kind of mistake and this this in this is basis has been implemented is very nice approach and great approach for the mule for in four version so this the changes has been done it has been syntax changes has been done in the filter that before it in in three version three dot x version there was no basis in with filter operator but in the two dot zero data view for mule four it has been in a implemented that message is required to define the condition in the for, for the filter operator okay so this is the uh, this is the filter one i show you the splunk one let me open the splunk one okay this is the splunk one okay hope you guys are aware the splunk uh, data that that define that uh, changes the, that implement the flatter and operator and make the array return you array or for the object you have is returns to the array and uh, let me run the application okay get it run okay strong let me see get splunk okay this is the four version okay get splunk i am i am transfer i am sending the same data to the splunk this is the four this is the mule four okay this is the mule four see the data version two let the application starts properly
there let me see what i check what the issue is there and you see that is they have implemented very nice approach you can see everything is very easy and uh, understandable okay let me see the line number this in very in very content uh, power started okay let me see if there is a problem here Preload. Okay, the file map. I remove this one. It's not required. One thing they have implemented is very nice, uh, uh, very well defined and uh, well understandable logs uh, approach that you will understand very easily that what the exact error and what you have to do in order to uh, fix that error okay let me see that started or not let me stop this one okay now let me start it okay, let's start stop let me start it Started. Let's go in the version four. Okay, you got it. I have defined the data in four version. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The root, the key, and what in the key I have defined is Splunk. Okay, see. The tab. I sending sending the this tab this tab okay in population okay now see the content in those see that the india and five australia and 50 okay you'll see that india and five australia and 50 so this uh, is helping uh, how the changes and the returning the array you see the cont the syntax is in in version 4 and you'll see the syntax in version 3 let me, let me open this uh, Splunk over here. Okay, you see. I have defined this one. Let me remove this one. Okay. You see, the content is the same, but just the changes has been done in the Splunk operator that has been implemented the basis that the developer should should not uh, able to make any uh, error if by the in even first time development and it's very cool implementations I implement one of the implementations has been done in the interview and I, it's very helping the developer that avoiding any kind of mistake into in the development itself Okay. so the Splunk the implemented the braces that avoiding any kind of mistake with the uh, with the space or uh, defining the limit of the Splunk with the plug okay so this is very nice implementation so two if I have shown two operator changes, uh, changes one is the filter other is the plug okay. rest I'll show I'll share with you some more uh, operator in the interview to make uh, to understand the what changes has been done from from three from three to two four from three to four okay this is the four and this is the three okay. changes only they have done the changes uh, they have implemented the basis in the plug operator